this show is the we Jeannie and I have been writing together for over a thousand years. Wow. And but working on stand up in these books and what what she is such a great point is like this is an opportunity for us to write about our lives and each of these stories these episodes are are driven from our experience have you thought of it i admire that in you but have you thought of it uh, that that is just another sign of your ultimate laziness writing about ourselves yes well we we talked about this because we had other show ideas but there's something about you know what you you write about what you know yeah but and i feel like uh, the comedies I, I feel like we're in a golden age of dramas and uh, and but i feel like the comedies today it, realism and it's grounded nature like straight of the setup out of the punch so if if we're going to set this reality rather than me having this fictitious occupation i i work in a radio station <laughs> right <laughs> stuff like that i don't know that world i right. do know this world i do know um that Jeannie and I can write about um, this relatively traditional couple that where the husband is in an unconventional job and they're living in downtown Manhattan and they have, um, you know, and they're Catholic and they're doing, you know, trying to raise their kids where they're not serial killers. Not that anyone else in downtown Manhattan isn't doing that. But it's a unique situation sure. where we have this very traditional family. Essentially what I'm saying is I'm fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> you keep interrupting me to say that. Sorry. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. So then it's right like... right back to the burger. And also mm -hmm. You're we, a class act. Because our really kids are. are in this like sort of crazy world and their dad has kind of a crazy job, um, w there was an, a version of this show, you know, a few years ago that we wrote that it was kind of like a mock reality show. It was mm -hmm. us. It was our kids. It was our apartment. It was, you know, very uh, realistic, but it was scripted. But to yeah. kind of, th we had a version of that. And um, now I really couldn't be happier because it's like our kids already, it's weird that their dad is on TV. And to, to pull them out of school and have tutors and that, like yeah. we, they should have a normal life. They shouldn't yeah. be forced into, um, you know, being on a set and things like that. And their mom should be, you know, I, I feel like our, my kind of behind the scenes position is uh, really like a powerful one. I really yeah. like being in this position and I like being uh, an executive producer. It's sort of like. Uh, is that why you guys chose TV Land? I mean, because I got to believe that you could, you know, go to one of the networks and I mean you're a huge draw and and bring the demographics down I gotta believe that there's a business that understands what you could do to a network now why TV land well we went through the traditional network model at NBC and twice at CBS and some of what we wanted to do which was a single camera um, kind of a, a, a comedy that is the situation's funny rather than someone coming in and making fun of someone's ugly sweater like you have on. You know, someone, what? no, I like it, I like it, I'm joking. No, but we wanted to do our own type of show and having gone through the network, um, the television model, which will be extinct in a couple of years as we know, um, we learned a lot and being at TV land or being at this network where we had complete authority, mm -hmm. it's the only way to do it. I mean, here, you're, 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 the blaze is your thing. It's like, could you go back to having bosses? I'm not saying we don't have bosses, but I'm saying the authority that we've been given by being on TV land, it's, I don't, I don't see us making the quality no, of this can. type of show.